But let's talk about Jeb and the Death Watch right now. Um, Really? Yeah. Is that what we're going to call yeah, it? Yeah, well, let, well let's okay. talk about it. And I'm going to, I'm going to, well, first of all, I'll ask you, okay. and then we'll talk What's to up? everybody okay. else. You know I love Jeb. I know. And you love Jeb, but it's not looking good. And, and I, the donors are, are running for the exits mm -hmm. now. It's going to be hard for him to raise money after this, isn't it? Well, it's good that he has so much, right? Um, but he doesn't really have that he much. He doesn't have that much. Well, the super PAC is my, If he fails, it will not be because of money. It will be because of what Jeb Bush articulated in the hallway to Dana Bash after the debate. Jeb Bush, in his own words, said, I am not a performer. And unfortunately, you don't get to go govern the party loves being face to face with your constituents unless you put on a performance as a candidate. It is it, it's sort of like motherhood. But, but you he, may I, not like pregnancy, but you don't get to be a mom he, unless you he, but, go through pre I mean, but there are Nicole, certain jobs where he, you have to he knew perform. what he was in for when you say I'm I not didn't a say he didn't. I didn't. He knew, right? He's I, been through elections. Don't, don't pick a fight with me about whether he knew. No, of course fight. he I'm did. Just, hey, I'm hey, just Steve, saying you, nobody you put it more truthfully than Jeb Bush after the debate. I'm not a performer, and if he doesn't succeed, it will be because so it is only we have a case in point in that uh, with uh, the answer about fantasy football. Yeah, let, let's get to that in a second. Mark Halperin, uh, Death Watch. Is it on for Jeb Bush right now? Well, it certainly is going to be what the chatter in class talks about. The Gang of 500 will say he's done. I think Nicole's wrong, with all due respect, on the money question. The Super PAC's got a lot of money, but how can he raise hard dollars now going forward? Again, he's doing an interview on Meet the Press with Chuck on Sunday. There's another debate in Milwaukee just around the corner. But he cannot underperform. He went into last night with everybody around him. Everyone who was down in Houston at the family uh, meeting uh, there said, okay, he's going to have to perform in Boulder. But he will. And he didn't. I think Marco Rubio now has to do two things. He has to convert last night's performance and Bush's bad performance into donors coming his way. Not necessarily leaving Bush, but there are a lot of people still on the sidelines. And then there is that question about Rubio beyond the scrutiny. Will voters be excited about him now? Yeah. He's still not got to convert. If, if, if Rubio doesn't rise, if Christie doesn't rise, if Kasich doesn't rise, Bush can still say there's going to be an establishment candidate well, actually, and I can still actually, be that person. I, I disagree with you, Mark, because I think... If Rubio, you know, Carly had two great debates. She rose and then it sort of went back down. If Marco, you know, the press has been trying to put a crown on him for, for three months now. If he rises and then he goes back down, that doesn't benefit. Yeah. That doesn't benefit Jeb. I, I, I'm sorry. There's, I don't think there's a benefit for Jeb moving forward. Well, that benefits, hold on, that benefits Donald Trump yeah. and Ben Carson and locks once and for all. Uh, their inevitability, uh, because it, it, we had Alex Castellanos on before that said the most important thing, Mark, about Trump was he went up, he went down, and then he went back up again. We had this Carson surge. Uh, there was one poll out, and everybody was calling Ben Carson the front runner last night, which is absolutely astounding. And uh, and a, a poll from the Economist came out yesterday that actually had Donald Trump ahead of everybody, 32 to 18, right? There's one poll. Yep. I, I'm telling you, it's this Ben Carson surge is probably a mirage. If Marco doesn't rise and Cruz doesn't rise, everybody better put on their seatbelts in Washington D.C. because Donald Trump or Ben Carson well, are going to be your nominee. I don't get why he uh, well, Chris, Joe, Christie I, I can agree. benefit. I agree that I agree that Christie has an opening here. I also agree with Christie you that Trump great. is still extra extraordinarily strong. And there's a reality now that the establishment's going to have to get used to. They underestimated Trump. They underestimated Carson. Now they're underestimating Cruz. I think it's possible that if Cruz rises and he's got a lot of money to spend, mm -hmm. you may see the establishment votes divide to some extent between Trump, Carson, and Cruz, getting this enough establishment vote to keep Rubio, Christie, Bush, and Kasich from rising. And you may have three anti-establishment candidates dominating Iowa and beyond.